what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and we got a different little video going today i'm doing a screen record but what i want you really to see is this really dope marketing fan engagement strategy that i've seen from megan the stallion that is the stallion two e shorty so first and foremost homie actually she sent me this instagram post and i'm gonna show you guys there's this instagram post called sex talk and the thing she said was hey hotties looking for a good time call this number right now here's a snippet to hear a new snippet of my single sex talk so obviously you playing off of this like phone sex hotline type theme called sex talk and here's the post right So, I, you know, right there is just a beat, right? So it's not anything super, super, like, interesting as far as, like, a super, you know, some lines that get you real interested or anything. But at the end of the day, you know, she knows she's drawing you in because here's the beat for the song, but how is she going to rap to it? So I'm going to go ahead and call this actual um, line right now, and let's see what happens so y'all can see what happens. Hey, Tata Tech, that was it so short little snippet that's pretty dope you know just the whole idea to get people engaged enough to actually call a number all right and let's see what happens after this because actually it looks like i got a like a little text message right and I'm going to read the text message after calling, which is dope. I assumed anyway, right, that uh, if people do something these days where your number is involved, they're going to try to record the number. All right. It says, hey, hottie, thanks for hitting me up. I'll put this on the screen, too. I'm so hyped for sex talk to drop this Friday. So it's about to drop. Sign up for the hottie line now. Just reply hashtag yes to be in my phone. So obviously she's using something like Superphone or something like that for this, but she's even allowing you to opt in, which is dope because you know everybody doesn't necessarily want to be in these things, even though it was a cool little reply and everything. I'll show what the message looks like. That's a dope installation and a dope little activation, but what's really important to consider is the way she got this, these numbers, is highly contextual and she still allowed people to opt in because people hear all these ideas, right, for to get a phone number or to get all these other types of information information but she made it contextually relevant or the team made it contextually relevant whoever gets the credit but you know it makes sense because that song was called sex talk and it's playing off of the theme of like the phone hotline the sex hotline right instead of just asking or doing it for a random track if you can do things where it makes sense contextually there's a lot of great ideas and strategies and things like that but you can't use them all at once and all of them shouldn't be used at all times if you can wait and you know, keep one in the back pocket and it's like, yo, it goes perfect with this song. I've been waiting to do this. Then you'll get the best results out of it. And then of course, even more important that I'm saying is like, she allowed people to still opt in because they want, might have wanted to hear the song. A lot of these fans aren't familiar with things like Superphone or getting, you know, people getting your numbers and things like that. So the fact that she still allowed people to opt in and told people what it is, this is my hottie hotline, then that creates a higher quality list of engaged fans because you gave these people a choice and they don't feel completely intrusive. So they were probably taken aback and, you know, pleasantly surprised a lot of these fans that they got texted from Megan Thee Stallion. And that's something she does so well. There's this other thing that she does called Hottie Cam. I haven't seen it in a while. I, I could have sworn I had a screen capture or something. But, like, she basically shares on her IG story her fans, like, listening to her music or just doing certain things, right? But she branded it. It's something she's doing already. So many people share fans and stuff like that on their stories. But she branded it as the Hottie Cam. So she's a woman, targeting woman for the most part, and she calls it the hottie cam. So her fans are like, you know, I'm on the hottie cam. Branding things, realize that you can brand things that you're already doing oftentimes. You know, so like I said, so many people are already doing this, but they aren't branding it. Once you brand it, it instantly makes it a little bit more powerful. So Megan Thee Stallion, check out this call the hotline yourself if you want to. Obviously, the information's right here. But um, yeah, try that out. And she's one of the dopest people I've seen lately, the team. The, the strategies they've been doing as far as fan engagement definitely worth checking out definitely somebody worth continuing to watch other than that as always if you like this video hit the like button if you like it might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do 
hit that subscribe.